I'm Roger Crawl, Product Manager at Paul Mueller Company. Let's take a look at installing a lock-in gasket on a Mueller heat exchanger plate. On most lock-in plates, the first gasket is made by installing four rings and two filler strips. First, locate the existing front plate of the plate pack. This can be identified by looking for the plate that has the alignment tabs ground off. If this hasn't been done, you will need to grind off any part of the plate that extends beyond the plane of the gasket track to ensure that the plate will fit flush with the fixed frame. The front plate will require glue. Using a tube of glue, apply a small bead of glue to all sections of the gasket track. Applying a small bead of glue will prevent the glue coming out from under the gasket after you've placed the gasket into the track. The glue is not for sealing, it's just intended to hold the gasket in place so they don't fall out as you load the plates into the unit. Place the four rings in the port areas and the two filler strips into the sides. In the areas where there are lock-in tabs, you may have to use a screwdriver to insert the gasket if it won't easily go in. If any glue accidentally gets on the surface of the plate or gasket, it can easily be removed with a rag and alcohol. After placing an additional plate on top, place a flat object such as plywood on top of the plates. Finally, place a weight on top to compress the gaskets into the track and ensure good adhesion. After allowing time to dry, inspect each plate for any excess glue to ensure the gaskets will seal properly when placed into the unit. To install the gasket on a lock-in flow plate, be sure to have the gasket aligned in the correct position for the flow channel. Make sure the leak detection slots are up and place the flat side of the gasket against the plate and the gasket indentions will match up with the lock-in tabs. Start by inserting the rings and cross pieces, then press down the gasket against the plate starting in the middle and finishing at the center where you've already locked in. Don't start at one corner and work your way down because this can cause the gasket to be installed unevenly. Repeat the process on the other side of the plate. If the gasket doesn't seem to stay in the track, a small amount of glue can be applied to hold the gasket in place. If you have any questions, call us at 1-800-MUELLER or email us at heattransfer at paulmuller.com.